When Phil Lane came to the plate for the University of Miami, it was not the time to go to the concession stand. I would say that uh, when we say you can kiss his goodbye and Phil Lane just hit it deep to left field, that he's the guy that uh, got me started on doing that type of stuff. Lane grew up in Council Bluffs, Iowa, just miles away from Omaha's Rosenblatt Stadium, where he would one day star for the Hurricanes. Even as a youngster, he stood out in a crowd. He's about six feet tall now, and he was six feet tall when he was 14 years old and he just stopped growing. And back then, he was the biggest on the, on the team, the strongest, he could hit the best, he could pitch the best. Lane transferred to Miami after one season at Broward Community College, bringing his home run power to the Hurricanes in time for the 1982 season. You know, Phil always had a, uh, you know, a reputation of a guy who could swing the bat. And I, and I think when Phil came to us uh, in, in uh, 1982, uh, he was really the first, uh, I would say, real super power hitter we've ever had. If there was one definition for Phil Lane, it was raw strength. Um, he had more raw strength than any player I've ever played with. And obviously to go along with that, at any one time, if your team was down by a couple runs or ahead by a couple runs, any time Phil Lane stepped up to the plate, you knew at any time there could be a tape measure shot hit and changed definitely the outcome of that game. Lane, a high drive to left field, going back to the wall and out of here. Home run by Phil Lane. Lane hit 18 home runs in the 1982 regular season alone, but he didn't stop there. In the NCAA tournament and uh, in the World Series in Omaha, Phil hit seven home runs, four in the regionals, three in the College World Series, and uh, to this day is uh, credited with hitting the longest home run in uh, Mark Light Stadium history in an NCAA regional game against Stetson. The regional game, he hit one against Stetson that I think is still going. He hit it up in the light standards, and one of the longest home runs uh, that I've seen. Lane powered the Hurricanes in the 1982 College World Series as Miami won its first national title. Phil hit three home runs in that World Series and the one against uh, Wichita State in the championship and title game, you know, when he hit that home run, uh, you know, you could uh, start feeling a little bit better that the pressure was coming off us a little bit and you could start envisioning uh, that ring being on your finger and, uh, and, and actually believing the fact that you were going to come away finally from Omaha, Nebraska as the uh, College World Series champions. Over the next two seasons, Lane continued to literally blast his way into the Miami record book, hitting 20 homers in 1983 and 17 in 1984. His 62 career home runs are still 23 more than anyone else in UM history. Well, we were lucky to have it, Lane, and, and, and I'm so happy that, uh, that he's being recognized tonight and he's going into the Hall of Fame because uh, he's one player that, uh, that really deserves it. Tonight, entering the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame, Phil Lane.